up. If Child does the ball anywhere near the basket like that, especially in a situation like this, he's got to go up with it. A two run for BYU. 70 seconds to go. Low on the block, gets double teamed, forced to give it up. And a steal by Hawes. TJ Hawes, contact, no, but the reverse, yes! Wow, amazing finish. And through some contact. But it started on the defensive end, just that anticipation to be able to get that steal and have the poise to finish with some bumps along the way. Instead of contact between he and the only challenge, just cleared room off. That's what he can do. He's a big physical dude at 275. He's 275 and his body fat is under 10%. Suggis for three. And what an exchange. Haas is a child to one-hander to Suggis. And Zach hits BYU's first three of the evening about his passing ability. Look yeah, at that. He really, he said not only does he get the ball to the right guys, he gets it to those guys in a great position to shoot the basketball, right at chest length, hits them right in the numbers, and they're set there ready to shoot. And that's when you shoot a high percentage. When the ball's coming inside out and... Yeah. Can't get it to go. Pulls to the rebound. There's been a lid on that basket for number 25. And Childs, the finish! What a pass from Coulson. Can we have co-players of the game? Squared up, ready to shoot the basketball. And here comes that pressure that at the end of the second half, just that token, a little bit of a three-quarter court zone trap, caused BYU some problems with their rhythm. Oh, Banner back in. Beautiful pass. And Childs with a hammer dunk. A shot of the night. And, and the help. Nezakwesi was going to was trying to help up. As soon as he went to help up, then Yoli Child slid in on that baseline, and then Nezakwesi was late getting back, and he just ducks right over the top of him. Trying to get a huge win on the road. BYU needs a big win at home. One point lead for the Gales, and Hawes has the ball. Not for long. He's going to get it back though. Clock at ten for three. Hawes good. Plenty of time, and wait a minute, a timeout after the made bucket. Well, if you're going to be an NCAA tournament team and have a chance to win a game in the tournament, you need a closer. T.J. Hawes is that guy for BYU. Checking the clock just to see the timeout was called after the made basket, so they want to get the timing right. So this is what they're looking at. I think. Yeah.